And I say to you all again, good morning, children of God. I have a quiz for you today. It is a true-false quiz, okay? All right, so here it is. Just kind of shout out the answers, all right? So true or false? In the Bible, a prophet was swallowed by a great fish. True. Who is that? Jonah. That's right. In fact, we're going to get to hear that story here in a couple of weeks. All right, ready? Are you ready? So that was good, right? You, you knew that one, right? Okay, here we go. True or false? In the Bible, a donkey speaks to someone to turn them around and have them make a different choice. True. That's a true story. Balaam had, was going to go one direction, and God wanted him to go a different direction. And so he kept putting an angel in the donkey's path. The donkey was not going to tussle with an angel. And Balaam got really frustrated. And the donkey then got to talk to him and say, hey, there's an angel there, and I'm not going that way. And then the angel was able to tell Balaam to go a different direction. All right. True or false? God once spoke out of a burning bush. There, good job. And that was, who did God speak to? Moses, that's right. Okay. True or false, someone once prayed for the sun to stand still in order to win a battle, and it did. True, Joshua prayed that the sun and the moon would stand still so that they could win a battle. Okay. So some of these you got. Some of these are a little trickier, aren't they? Did you know that was in the Bible? All right. True or false? In the Bible, God sent ravens to feed a hungry prophet. True. This is one of Pastor Leisha's favorite stories, right? If you're ever feeling cranky, you might just need a snack and a nap. That's what Elijah learned. All right. True or false? In the Bible, a prophet got really mad when some kids called him baldy. True. That's right. The prophet Elisha got really mad and sent some bears after the, those kids. So, just so you know, those people with a lot of extra wisdom that they had to make space. You watch out. All right. Okay. True or false? In the Bible, God only asks adults, young adults perhaps, to do God's work. False. Yeah, see, they're all true until that one. I got you, right? You all got that one right, though, right? God calls all sorts of people to do God's work. In fact, in just a few minutes, we will hear about God calling Samuel, who was just a little boy, to bring a message to another leader in Israel. And then Pastor Leisha will tell us the story of God calling some of the very first disciples. God called Abraham when he was 100 and Jeremiah when he was 6. God called men and women and even people that we might today call non-binary. God called people from different races and people from competing towns. Nathaniel's going to say, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And the answer is, well, yeah, God calls them. Well, I want you to listen most carefully, though, to what happens when Samuel starts to hear God's call. Eli tells Samuel what to do. If you think this is you, that you think God might be calling you, what you're supposed to do is listen carefully. Will you pray with me? You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for all the people you have called. Help us to listen carefully for your voice. Amen. Remember that God goes with you everywhere you go. 